Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick video on homemade fire starters for you today. I've been chatting to a few people after my last um, video that I did on the, the wax and cotton pads um, and a couple of people asked if there were other ways to do it and that kind of thing and there certainly are. Um, but there's one other that I tend to use which is what I'm going to show you today. Um, and basically it just involves wax and this stuff which is wood shavings. Um, if you're if like me, you're a carver, you know, you'll have these lying about. If not, you can just get a piece of wood and make your own, either with a knife or maybe a plane. Um, if it's a nice soft wood, maybe even something like a cheese grater would probably work. Um, but what I'll do, let me move the camera just a bit closer in and I'll show you what it is we're going to do. Right then guys, so I've got my wax just out of shot on my burner, uh, slowly melting. Um, and what I've got here is just an old sardine tin. Now to be honest, you can use any kind of container for this. I like a nice square one. And what I've done, I've lined it with some baking paper and I've just put a very thin layer of cotton wool on the inside. Um, really, that's just to help with lighting. You don't need it um, if you're not going to be using a ferro rod. You know, these will light with a lighter or a match just as easily without it. Um, and all I'm going to do, and it really is this simple, guys, is just tip a bunch of these wood shavings into the container. Now, you want to make sure you get a nice even layer. And you want to try and pack as many as you can in there, because the more wax chips you've got, the better this will work. Um, now that's probably about enough for now. Let me see if I can pack that down a little bit. I've also just got an old stick here, which I'm going to be using to pack this, to pack this down once the wax is in. Um, and really, all the greaseproof paper does is allow you to sort of pull it back out nice and easily. You haven't got to start hacking around the sides with a knife or warming it up to try and get the wax out. Um, and really, you know, this is very similar to things like the Zippo fire lighters. I mean, I know that I think that off the top of my head, I think they use cedar. Um, which is re relatively flammable anyway. These are pine chips, um, just for some nice dry pine that I was carving with a while ago. Um, and really, that is it. Now I've just glanced over at my wax and it is still very slowly melting. It's not quite ready yet. So I'm gonna cut quickly. I'll come back when the wax is ready um, and we'll find, find out how finish this off. Right then guys, so I've moved you up a little bit. The wax is all melted. Um, and what I'm gonna be using is just this little wooden spoon to transfer it. I don't like pouring straight out of the tin because it tends to run down the sides. Then you've got to clean it off before you put it back on the burner and so on and so forth. Um, so it will take slightly longer, but essentially all you're doing is just making sure that you saturate all of this with your wax. Um, now it can take a little while because it will obviously you know, drip down um, and I just want to get a good sort of initial layer on there. I can add some more later if I need to, but really this is just about saturating what's there. It will go down into the, um, the cotton wool down there as well and I would say that's probably about it. Now for this to work well you want to make sure it's well compacted so you just want to give everything a bit of a push down and as sort of, you know, this starts to set, and it's quite cold out in my workshop today, so it won't take long at all. Um, and as it starts to harden up, you just wanna make sure to keep compressing it down um, so that it sets really well, nice and sort of compacted together. Um, that gives you a sort of a better fire lighter, at least in my opinion. Um, and the alternative to this is you can do exactly the same method, but once it starts to sort of set a little bit, you can put a cotton wool pad on the top instead, if that's what you want to do. Um, if you're gonna be keeping this in like a sealed bag or a sealed container, you don't need to worry about soaking the cotton wool. Um, and it just gives you a nice fluffy sort of instant tinder to strike your fire steel on. And as I said before, you know, what you can do is if you're not going to be using a fire steel for this, you're going to be using matches or a lighter, you can, you can get rid of the cotton wool altogether. Um, now these are sort of, I would say, medium sized wood chips. Um, generally, the, you know, the smaller the better for these is, is the way I found this works. These will work absolutely fine. Um, you can even use sawdust, um, which obviously compacts down a lot more. Um, but you know, the choice is really yours and down to what you have available. So I'm going to spend another five minutes just waiting for this to set. As I say, it will take a little bit of time, even though it's cold out here. And I'll come back and show you this when it's fully done. Right then guys, so it's been about half an hour. This has now set, although it is still slightly warm. And if I can just pull this out, 
So a little bit of it's made its way into the tin, not to worry. Um, and this is what we are left with. This is our tinder. And if I just peel away some of this paper, so you're basically left with quite a big block of wax. Um, now, as I say, this is still slightly soft to the touch and there is a big cotton pad under here. Now, there's several things you can do at this stage. You can either leave it as it is and just pack it away. You can take some scissors or a sharp knife and cut it into smaller pieces, which is what I will probably do later on. Um, because we've got the cotton in there, scissors are probably the best way to save if, if things getting pulled apart too much. Um, and that is basically it. Um, now, as I said before, these are really cheap, easy to make, inexpensive, nice little fire lighters that you can make up with either off cuts and chippings of woodworking that you've done, or you can kind of make up your own wood chips if, if you're not into carving. Um, but they are really, really nice, simple, easy things to make. Right then guys, so that is how I make this particular type of homemade fire starter. I did break a couple of pieces off, just so I can show you if that will focus. Um, you know, you can see the exposed cotton fibres there, so nice and easy to take a spark um, and get these lit with just a ferro rod. They'll go up really, really easily with a lighter or a match. Um, and another popular way of making these with the wood chips and the wax, etc., is to use egg cartons. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this method, but again, it's good for recycling and you just do exactly the same thing. And rather than using a small tin or a container, um, you just kind of pile a load of the wood shavings into an egg carton or the, the segments of an egg carton, pour in a bit of wax, and then you can just take a pair of scissors and just chop through and you've got lots of individual fire starters. Um, the only reason I don't like that method is that you can break these down smaller, um, therefore you can carry more for the same amount of size and weight. Um, I would say this piece I've got in my hand here, I would say I could probably break that down in half, if not thirds, um, and get two or three fires out of this easily. Um, you know, the bigger ones for the with egg cartons, yeah, they're great, they work really well. They're just a bit bigger than what I actually need. Um, so I hope it was useful, guys. Hope maybe it's prompted you to give this a try yourself. It's dead simple to do, really, really cheap and easy. And if you're working, especially on a budget, you know, you don't need to go out and buy expensive purpose-made fire lighters. You can make your own just as easily. That's it for today, guys. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.